Hey guys, how's it going? It is the real Randy Chavez coming at you with a uh, Pokemon sales data video. We have so much freaking data to go over. It's gonna be a long one. Strap in for the long haul. Uh, we start. We have so many dark Charizards, <laughs> but this is the first one. Uh, first edition PSA nine sold for six hundred and fifty five dollars. Now be advised, guys. The Rocket set, which where the Dark Charizard uh, comes from, the second Charizard ever to be created, was really, 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 really overprinted. So much so that we have 412 PSA 10 copies, and we have 1,179 PSA 9 copies. Now, in all actuality, we probably have much less than 1,000 of those copies, because a bunch of those 9s were probably regraded, regraded, regraded. Um, Maybe one or two became, maybe a few became tens, maybe some just became nines. People were just like, fuck it. Um, just for contrast, Blaine's Charizard, the third Charizard, uh, has a little bit better artwork. It is more playable, it has more health, has better attack, has a, uh, again, Blaine's Charizard. It's, it's just better. The, the hollow is better, the artwork is better. Only has 280 PSA 10 copies and 446 PSA 9 copies. Now, same thing, 446 might mean 420. Maybe 26 of those were regraded, and you know, maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Either way, it is less than half the amount of the PSA 9 copies, going from 9 to 9, and about 100. Uh, this one seems a little bit easier to grade. This is a little easier to grade than Dark Charizard, but either way, it's still 132 uh, PSA, less PSA 10 copies, and that Blaine's Charizard, first edition PSA 9, got $1,225. Uh, moving on to Gold Star Charizard, first edition PSA, or I'm sorry, not first edition, Gold Star Charizard PSA 8, got $1,427. It's incredible. A pre-release Clefable PSA 7 got $412, uh, and I have a store, all right, so another pre-release Clefable got, uh, PSA 8 got $625, uh, so be about $200-something dollar difference in there. Uh, I think that is severely undervalued for that eight. Like, if I had known about that, I would have bid much, much higher. Seven, eight hundred dollars, whatever. And there's so someone that that messaged me on eBay and they said, because I put the eight out there for like two k or best offer or something like that. And like, listen, I'm really curious to see what what your price point is for the PSA. You know, this this one sold for six twenty five, whatever. I was like, like, oh wow, like I'm I'm pissed. I missed that auction. I would have bid eight hundred dollars for that. Um, and then it, I, I forget what I had said. Um, I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't sell it for that price, but uh, you know, whatever. And then he comes back and he says, that, okay, there's, listen, these pass all for these. You know, you're not gonna get uh, that price point which you're looking for. That's a little far fetched. You know, what, what's your selling point? And, and okay, fair enough. Yeah, like that. What I am, and, and I always tell people whether it's on E4, whether it's on Instagram or, or here or on eBay. So I'm like, listen, like you can. Like, I, I know the last sold prices of what everything were. Like, this is what I do. And I'll tell him, like, listen, I'll just tell you what I told this guy. I'll just, that's the price. I'm not going to sell below this price. I'm just going to wait until the price gets up there, you know, but before I sell. You know, in the meantime, there's going to be another PSA 8 pre-release fable out that's going to come up, whether it's at auction, it's going to be listed somewhere else. And it's... It's going to be listed most likely a little bit cheaper than mine, but at the same time, like if it's going to go for auction, you're probably going to get it at around seven hundred bucks. You know, I, again, I think that's under honestly probably, that's probably the wrong thing to say because if I can get it for seven hundred, I'm getting that for seven eight hundred dollars. Um, because pre-release Fables is only like PSA eight. I don't know how many there are nine. There are, there are no tens. There are no tens of the pre-release Fables. There are, I think. What like eight nines or ten nines? There's only thirty-eight eights, so they're 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 really really rare. Um, but even still, like you can get. I always tell people like you can probably get it for this price. I'm I would only sell for this price. You know, if you want this because you know it looks clean, it's got a good cert number, you know, with a four cert number, or it's got a swirl, and you want this, or because I'm a, a really good seller, hundred percent rated, like, and I ship either the same day or the next day or business day. Okay, if they want to pay premium, that, that's fine. But I always tell them, like, you can probably get one at auction for, for you know, this price, maybe, uh, you know, based on other sales and trends. Uh, he was a little salty about that. He was just, like, a little salty. He didn't message me back, but, you know, whatever. 
So, uh, oh god, we're already five minutes in. Haunter, first edition PSA 10, sold for $462. Another Dark Charizard, first edition PSA 9, sold for $1,071. And had a Dark Blastoise, first edition PSA 9, sold for $369. Kabutops, first edition PSA 9, sold for $172. A Japanese Blaine's Char Charizard, PSA 10, sold for $375. Just thought that was interesting. Uh, Sabrina's Alakazam, first edition PSA 10, listed at $450 your best offer. I offer three fifty, decline. I offer four twenty five, accepted. That is fucking insane. That will be that. That that should be worth seven eight hundred dollars now. That will be a thousand dollar card in the future. Again, just my opinion, but um, you know that four twenty five. That is a steal. That is a freaking steal. Hit only first edition PSA nine sold for two hundred and ten dollars. Misty's Tentacruel first edition PSA nine sold for ninety seven dollars. Meganium number 11, first edition PSA 9. Number 11 is the one that I don't think has, I think it has the secondary artwork. The, the 10, I think, has a better artwork. This one is like lean Meganium, uh, you know, long neck, and it has, uh, it is more common. It is easier to grade. And the first edition PSA 9 sold for $400 still. What? I think that's the record price point for that. Shadowless Charizard BGS8. This one is a pain in the balls to write down because it has an 8.5. Uh, 8, I'm sorry, it has 10 for the centering, 8.5 for the corners, 8 for the edges, and 7.5 for the surface. So it got a BGS8. I would have given it a 7, but the Shadowless Charizard, either way, the BGS8 got $1,510. We have a Zapdos first edition PSA8 base set, sold for $445. And then we had two 9 cell. Again, first edition PSA9 base set Zapdos. For six hundred sixty dollars and eight hundred sixty dollars. Then we had a Dark Charizard first edition PSA nine sold for six forty. All right, I, all right. So we had Dark Charizard sold for six sixty five, one thousand seventy one, and six forty. I didn't really see a difference between them. Like, again, I just looked at the pictures. I didn't go deep into the history or nothing. But why is one six fifty five? Why is it spiking to ten seventy one? Why is it going back down to six forty? Where we, the, like last week we saw all of them in like the seven hundreds, and I thought like seven hundred would be like the baseline price point, but apparently not. Apparently, just it's pot luck with these dark Charizards. Uh, again, I, if there was one that was just like, oh, this should be like an eight, seven, like it, but no, they they all looked like nines. Like, uh, okay, maybe one was a little bit stronger than the other, but like, not that much. Um, I, I I don't I don't understand. Uh, I'll, Maybe that again. It was a seller. Maybe it was the time of the auction. Sometimes some people do like four day auctions. Some people, times people put an auction on at like eight in the morning uh, instead of you know like ten at night, which I think it should be. But you know whatever. Um, so after that, we had a Pikachu first edition PSA nine from Neo Genesis, sold for three hundred eighty dollars. This is incredibly undervalued. Why do I think so? Because there's only twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, there's only twenty three. PSA 10 copies. That will be, I think the last one sold for three grand or 3,500. Um, I, I think eventually, because again, Neo Genesis isn't, this I, I, I think should be, yeah, that, that should be a little higher. And either way, even if we do the 10 sells for 10 times, which is the way upper end of the spectrum, as much as the nine, this nine should be $350 minimum. I should have got that. I didn't. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It sold, it sold for 380. Um, there's 205, but I, even still, with only 23 PSA 10s, the, the 380 should be, uh, again, that's at the 10, but I, I think it should really be like, like $500, uh, $600. Uh, for Alligator, first edition PSA 9, mm, number 5. So the same thing from Neo Genesis, number 5. This is the one that has better artwork, in my opinion. It is harder to grade, it is rarer, and it is much, much less common. So for $420, top 4 bids are 320 380 415 and then 420 Nice. Uh, I, I, I have three of these cards, and had I known that... Okay, I was with the girlfriend last night, like the past 36 hours, all of her. I went Sunday, Sunday morning after I made my video. I was helping my friend Tina out. She owns a dog grooming shop, and she has... Um, she was, needs help with cats. And because I had worked with the animal hostel where they're helping shave cats, you know, many years ago. A lot of groomers, they don't take cats, like at all they're pain to do a large chance of being scratched bit clawed like you name it uh and it's very very skillful it's very hard to do and i'm one of the only ones that could actually help assist with that she had a couple cats we helped do them um uh, people take your take your dogs and cats to the groomers like 
every six months because uh, brush them do but yeah that's some of what i've seen is borderline cruelty um but then after that we had a couple of dogs that with this spanish dude and i, I speak passable spanish but it's a little hard a little hard to converse and then the girlfriend right into work today and i am so shy i'm so sorry guys um we're like not even halfway done with this first page and we still all right so um after that we have a yeah again i, I have three for alligators first edition psa 9 uh one i just got today but that one th this this will be a thousand dollar card eventually why am i getting all these for alligators because there's there's less than 200 psa 9 co there's only 18 psa 10 copies so stupid rare uh and then there's only like 187 there's less than 200 psa 9 copies so th this is something that minimum right now should be 500 dollars um but I, I think it'll be a thousand dollar card eventually again putting my money where my mouth is that's what i'm that's what i'm doing metal energy first edition psa 9 oh 81 dollars why the fuck did... <sighs> so under i just sold a seven for uh for like 40 something dollars and the nine getting 81 is, is ridiculous um that's so so undervalued skarmory first edition psa 9 sold for 84 dollars slow king first edition psa 9 sold for 485 dollars I said 400 was a little low. I think 485 is a little low as well. Either way, that's a record price point. I still think that's undervalued. Ditto, Fossil Set, first edition PSA 10, sold for $415. Another Haunter, first edition PSA 10, so this one sold for $467. That one sold for $462. So this, this, that's right. That's fine. Alakazam, base set, first edition PSA 9, sold for $1,350. And then the 10, sold for $5,500. Record price point for that. You know, thirteen fifty times three—that'd be three thousand. There's a nine hundred, so four thousand. Yeah, so so, it's not five to eight times, but again, three times at the low end, ten times at the high end. That does fit there. So I, I think the ten actually does have room to grow because this this one kind of shows like, okay, we're here. Base set is is on the move, and and I think you'll you'll see it go up um, a, a little bit as well to probably like six thousand. Um, but again, that record price point at fifty five hundred. Uh, and the other bids pretty close fifty four fifty four thousand four hundred forty four dollars and then forty two fifty so those are the top four bids well all well over four thousand four thousand we had a blastoise base set first edition p s a nine sell for three thousand fifty dollars and another first edition p s a nine sell for the exact same thing three thousand fifty dollars uh we had a chancy first edition p s a nine sell for one thousand seventy five dollars those blastoises for those are record price points for for those nines uh, Chansey for position PSA 9 sold for $1,075. We haven't had a 10 sell, and so we, we don't know. That That is so... I think that if a Chansey first edition PSA 9 base set is selling for $1,075, which is less than the, like a Blaine's Charizard, which is less than which is less than this Dark Charizard, it's, it's less than some PSA 9s in Watsi, like that are not base set, that is undervalued. Because why is that getting that price right now? Yes, there's a lot more 9s than there are 10s, but the 10s are so scarce and we haven't had a 10 sell in a while. Once we see a 10 sell for over $10,000, $15,000 off to the races. Charizard, first edition, base set, PSA 7. First edition, PSA 7. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. The prices leading up to the, the record price point. 6000 6200 6500 7400 and then seven thousand five hundred dollars was the winning bid. Um, th this is so much movement. You could get the nine for this price six months ago, probably less than that. My God, my God! Uh, a friend of mine has he's told me he'd give me a deal. He'll do it for like seventy three fifty, seven thousand three hundred dollars. And and okay, that's that's fair price point. I'm just so over leveraged right now. I I I should. I can't. I, I, I just can't. Um, that's... But yeah, these Charizards, even the Sevens. The Sevens! Oh my god, that's insane. Clefairy, first edition PSA 9, sold for $1,000. And then another Clefairy, first edition PSA 9, sold for $1,130. Gyarados, first edition PSA 9 base set, sold for $1,775. Hitmonchan, first edition PSA 9 base set, sold for... $1,125. Oh, we had a couple of Magnetons here. Base set, first edition PSA 9. Sold for $5.91. And another one sold for 
We had a Magneton uh, first edition PSA 10 from base set. Um, the top three bids were $45.64, $5,200, and $5,300 for the record price point of this insane. Mewtwo first edition PSA 9 sold for $1,525. I remember about two years ago, it, it, it was in 2018, where I saw two first edition PSA 10 Mewtwo's sell for like $1,500 and like $1,525 respectively. Now the 9 sold for $1,525. It's insane. It is insane. Oh my god, this girl. Needle King first edition PSA 9 sold for $600, base set. And then the 10, record price point of $3,950. I could have snagged one a couple months ago, $2,250. Did not do it. Idiot. Right here. Idiot. Idiot. Ow. Sorry. Girlfriend poked me in. So sensitive. Um, blah, 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 blah. Nine Tails, first edition PSA 9, base set, $640. Another one sold for $640. And then a 10 sold for $1,000. Oh, no, 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 no. Another nine. It's so a third nine sold for $1,004. I, I don't know why that happened. It just did. Uh, I think probably similar to the Dark Charizards where it goes six something, a thousand. Then, you know, not all nines are created equal. Polyrath, first edition base set, PSA 9. Sold for $500, and then another one sold for $671. Then we have a Raichu base set, first edition PSA 9, sold for $1,800. Venusaur, first edition PSA 9, sold for $2,500. Arcanine, first edition PSA 10, love Arcanine, sold for a record price point of $390. Dark Dragonite, first edition PSA 9, sold for $262. My $250 price point is looking better and better every day. Shadowless Charizard, uh, PSA 8. Sold for one thousand or a base set, so one thousand six hundred seventy-five dollars. And then the first, I'm sorry, the Shadowless Charizard PSA nine. There was two of them. One sold for three thousand five hundred twenty-five. The next one sold for four thousand one hundred dollars. So the average, because the last two that were sold on eBay were about thirty-seven and thirty-seven fifty. Then we have thirty-five and forty-one. So. That holds, so the price point's about the same, $3,750, $3,800 around there. That's the average price point. I would not sell my BGS 9 for $4,000. I, I just, even though I only paid like $900 for it, uh, I, I just, for, I can't, I can't sell it for $4,000. Like it's, it means too much to me. Uh, Rockets Moltres, first edition PSA 9, sold for $225. Rockets Mewtwo, first edition PSA 9, sold for $320. I'm so happy I got that Rockets Mewtwo at $800, that first edition PSA 10, because it's going up. Dragonite first edition PSA 8 from the Fossil Set sold for $232, and then the 9 sold for $474. Another Haunter first edition PSA 10 sold for $512, a little bit of a breakout point after the 462 and the 467. Then we had a Kabutops first edition PSA 10 sold for $502. Ah, my hips, Lapras, ah, my other hips, first edition PSA 10 sold for $2,030. Uh, Magneton from the Fossil Set, first edition PSA 10, sold for $256, and another one sold for $235. Moltres, first edition PSA 10, sold for $676, and then a Zapdos from first edition PSA 10, sold for $480 and $553. Whew. Two thirds of the way done. Had a couple of grand parties here. Grand parties is one of my favorite, uh, like, semi trophy cards. Uh, the PSA 9 got $810, and then the 10s got $1,255 and $1,400. $1,400, I believe, is a record price point for that card. I got it at $555, I think. Oh, wait. I got the Grand Party and the Shadowless Char Charizard BGS 9 uh, on the same day, same auction. Yeah, it was great. Uh, vile, and, and at the time, because I, I didn't... I got outbid for the Charizard... You know, I, I bid like nine hundred something. Someone bid like a thousand. I was like, I right, fuck that. I'll just I'll just get the grand party. I was outbid. I won the grand party, and then the fucker decided to reclaw his bet, and I just stuck with paying both of them fourteen hundred dollars. Well, I was like, oh, but it's okay because that nine hundred dollar tar Charizard is now four thousand dollars. This grand party, the five fifty something, minimum one point three. Wouldn't sell either. Would not sell either for that price. Vile Plume first edition PSA nine sold for one hundred and twenty two dollars. Slow King, first edition PSA 8, sold for $142. That is undervalued. 
uh, I, I, I put that price point about 250 right now. Um, eventually that'll be 350, maybe even $500 once that nine reaches a thousand. Blaine first edition PSA nine, $133. Giovanni first edition PSA 9, so for 127. I'm not moving like this because like I have to pee or anything. I'm moving because my knees and my hips. Crazy, crazy weekend. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I went over Blaine, went over Giovanni. Lieutenant Surge's Pharaoh. <sighs> this card is so beautiful. He doesn't have a Pharaoh, but it's just so legit. Uh, all right, so we have 800, 1204. These are the bids that are leading up to it. 1350, 1354. $1,379 was the winning bid. I'm not sure that's a record price point. It's just a beautiful card. I love it. I would love to add that to my collection, but I just, I can't right now. Brock, first edition PSA 9, sold for $207. Remember when I said it was undervalued at like $110, so I bought it? Still undervalued. Uh, well, the 207 yeah, yeah, I, I would say it should be $250, um, you know, $300, or around there, just because... It, you know, the last Brock PSA 10, which there's not a lot of, sold for like 2200 25 whatever that is. Yeah, th this I still think is, is undervalued. Lieutenant Surge, first edition PSA 9, sold for 137 Azumarill, first edition PSA 9, sold for 124 T17, Typhlosion, 17, first edition. PSA 8, this is one that's harder to grade. This one that's rarer, sold for $825. And Dark Blastoise, first edition PSA 9, sold for 320 One sold for 369 one sold for 320 Okay, so a little bit... I, honestly, I think the support line is around 330. I don't know why this got 320. Maybe because another one just sold prior to that. And there wasn't as much competition. Another Dark Charizard, first edition PSA 9. Back to the normal, 742. Dark Hypno, first edition PSA 10, sold for $202. I think that's undervalued too. Dark Weezing, first edition PSA 10, sold for $152. Ho oh, number 7 from Neo Discovery. Or I'm sorry, Neo Revol Revelation. First edition PSA 9, sold for $710. Suicune first edition PSA 9 from Neo Rev as well, 465. Shining Char oh my god, there's a couple of big ones now. Shining Charizard first edition PSA 10. Remember how the other one, the most recent one sold for either 7500 or 8 grand depending on the deal. You know, he he had a Shining Charizard first edition PSA 10, this guy Gary, and a Gold Star Charizard first uh Gold Star Charizard PSA 10. And he's like, "All right, you could either have it for 8 grand each, you know, if anyone wants to split or I'll give it to you for $1,500 for both of them, meaning that would be $7,500. So either way you look at it, like the fucking eighth bid on this was $7,500. $8,100. $8,400. $8,600. $8,800. The winning bid was $8,900, just shy of that 9K mark. That is insane for that Shining Charizard. That is... I remember saying, like, seen one at like 1875 like two years ago and then another like oh i'll get the next one then 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 it, the bid went over two grand i was like oh that's too much i don't I'll, I'll wait for the next one and then it just never went down it just insane insane god that's incredible gold star charizard psa 9 a couple of price points here so the bids were 2250 2300 2350 2400 and then 2425 dollars T17 first edition PSA 8, another one sold for $800. So we had $825 and $800. So the 8s, figure, eight, figure, figure 800 is the support line for the 8. Uh, Rockets Hitmonchan first edition PSA 10 sold for $500. Record price point for that. Remember when I told you $400 was a little, a little low? Um, $500 is getting up there. Another Dark Charizard first edition PSA 9 sold for $700. See, like six of these in like fucking 24 hours. Metal Energy, oh, first edition PSA 8, sold for $22. I just sold the 7 for 40 something. Stupid. <laughs> People are sleeping on those Metal Energies. Another Dark Charizard, but this is the first edition PSA 8, sold for $442. Wow, that was insane. I'm going to give my knees the longest rest. I love you guys. I wish you all a very fond farewell. I'm going to do this in like 20 minutes again for another Tesla video. <laughs> Peace, guys.